So today, people, we check out 20 plus legendary armor pieces for Outriders. Checking out how they work and what they offer, hopefully giving you guys an understanding of how armor actually works within this game. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So within Outriders, the top tier loot rarity is legendary and within this game there are some seriously interesting pieces. Now unlike games like Destiny where exotics is that top tier loot where only one can be equipped at once, that's not how things work in Outriders. In this game you can wear 5 legendary pieces at the same time because how it works in this game is gear sets as a whole offer benefits to your class in terms of buffs to abilities and much more. I will explain as we check these sets out so let's start and we'll do that with the 5 legendary gear piece set for the Devastator. So this gear piece set is called the Death Proof and its speciality is also called Death Proof reduce the cooldown of the boulder dash by 90%. The Border Dash is basically a run and slam of Devastation which is one of the Devastator's abilities. This set allows you to have a 90% cooldown on this ability and we can see that in action on screen now. I mean its cooldown is more or less instant. Now notice the armor set states, 3 piece bonus active. What this means is you need to be wearing at least 3 of this 5 piece set to trigger that bonus of death. This means you can rock three of this legendary armor set and mix it up with other armor pieces to apply even more bonuses. So wearing three pieces of this five piece set gives you that cooldown bonus but it goes even further than that in making your class even more powerful with the fact of mods on the armor which I will add you can change. You can apply mods which assist even more with that boulder dash if that's what you want to do to maximize efficiency with that part of your devastator or you could balance it out in other ways applying bonuses to other abilities you are using on your devastator. But this set we can see being showcased, we can see the mods apply even more benefits to that boulder dash, which is great. And all of this just shows the level of customization in terms of builds that will be possible. So yeah guys, the devastator death proof set is pretty cool. Okay, so next up people, we have the reforged armor set for the pyromancer. And how amazing does this thing look? So this 5 piece armor set also requires you to be wearing 3 pieces to get the bonus of increased feed the flame damage and thermal bomb damage by 50%. So this actually applies damage bonuses to 2 abilities which is pretty cool. Thermal bomb basically allows you to select an enemy, interrupt and deal damage to them. If you kill them while still affected by this skill, they will explode, dealing damage within a large radius. Feed the Flames basically allows you to select and pull an enemy towards you, dealing damage, draining health and inflicting ash. So that's pretty awesome too. Then apply mods to assist you and you have the ultimate Pyromancer. I can't wait people. So next up guys is a 5 piece armor set for the Technomancer called the Torrential Downpour. This again requires you to be wearing at least 3 of this 5 piece set to get the bonus of. Scrapner creates additional cluster bombs after explosion. So the Scrapner is basically an anti-personal explosive that can be dropped or thrown as a proximity device. When the enemy approaches that Scrapner pops up out of that ground and bursts into hundreds of pieces and damages all targets in the immediate vicinity. Pretty epic I know people and this set just applies even more bonuses to this. So lastly for the full sets we have the one for the trickster, this one is called the chrono suit and wearing three of these five piece sets will see you when reverting time replenish your ammo. But obviously as you know with mods you can make use of this even more and trigger many other advantages and bonuses for you when you actually revert that time and we can see many instances of that with the mods applied to this armour. The Trickster is actually the class I am starting this game with because it just fits my playstyle down to a T and I cannot wait. Ok so on to other armor pieces I have spotted in trailers and although we don't see full sets here we obviously know they exist. The first one is for the Pyromancer and the full set will be called the Akari. This also being a 5 piece set while wearing 3 pieces the bonus is. 
every enemy damage by Heat Wave grants 25% and normally power bonus for 10 seconds. What Heat Wave is, is basically you summon a fiery wave that deals damage and inflicts burn onto all enemies in its path. So that's pretty epic. And guys, another armor piece I found belongs to the Devastator and it will be called the Marshal. Wearing three pieces of this five piece set gives you the following bonuses. Endless Mass pulls enemies and makes them share that damage. What Endless Mass is, select a target and encase them in stone, inflicting bleed and pulling enemies within a small radius towards that target. The stone will then explode dealing damage to all enemies within a small radius around that target. So this should definitely be interesting to see people. And that's what we have for today and what we have so far. And honestly guys, I cannot wait to dive deep in and try these abilities, mods, legendaries and builds out for myself. The possibilities do seem endless. Now obviously there are many sets within this game which we haven't seen yet. And if any more do pop up, I'll be sure to cover them right here on my channel. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I really do. If you did leave an like, it really helps out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.